seems so weird because Greninja obviously has late daggers and real disjoint, but it feels like everything Wolf does is a disjoint. Right. See how this one plays out, though. Gets the drag down a little late on the on the jab. I maybe even try to go for the jab, uh, grab there instead, but it is what it is. Yeah, I was thinking a grab would have been good, but it uh, doesn't matter nonetheless. Pretty even at the moment. No one's really even jockeying for positioning. They're just kind of swinging at each other and seeing what sticks. Yeah. Kind of gonna start to, you know, set the, the pace of the match right there. Try to, oh! Okay. okay. Look, look for the read there. Look for the roll in. I think it's a roll back, actually, right there. Very un, uh, unorthodox of a roll for uh, Jackal to go for, but it worked out. I'm, I'm also surprised that Tarek was so okay with just giving up stage control right there, going for kind of that more difficult edge guard, knowing that getting up against Jackal is generally really difficult. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, he's like almost, almost uh, finishing that stock right there. Couldn't get the, the sweet spot. Now Jackal, very good DI, DI out when getting hit by that uh, down tilt. Maybe out of that range, yeah, I was going to have to just kind of probably look for a, uh, a straight forward air or a down tilt forward air, and it worked out. Good stuff. And is it me or is Tarek just gliding around Jackal? He, he is. <laughs> like, you just look at like MJ just always right out of range, sliding right back in, finding openings, and just reacting perfectly to whatever Jackal's doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it would definitely be a, a little bit uh, more of a hard-fought battle for uh, Greninja here, especially if uh, Greninja isn't getting stuck in shield. Obviously, Greninja doesn't have the greatest out-of-shield options. But uh, if you're never stuck in shield, who cares? My man ain't been in shield once. <laughs> like, I don't do. I don't hit that button. I don't have that on my boost. keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> did you take his R button out? Is that what he, you did, TK? He had to. Like he, he legitimately probably changed controls. He don't even got shield. I'm good. Did get scooped up though by that up smash. Such a huge hitbox. Hits all around Wolf. So Tarek put on notice a little bit, did drop that stock, but still in such a good lead right now. And Wolf just getting comboed 77% off stage. Ooh. Oh, Tarek. Finish your play. Spray him again. Oh, that's enough. Oh, no. Not that I was going to try to go for like one more uh, spray. Just kind of push him a little further away. But actually might have helped him get back to the stage a little better. Yeah. Mm, doesn't matter, though. My man is cooking. Everything I said was wrong, bro. I, I had an idea of how this is supposed to play out. Let me tell you, it's not playing out at all like that. <laughs> It is a different Greninja. You're used to the, the ones in North America. Okay? Yeah. The climate's different over there. Yeah, true, true. I don't know. Like, they, they're, they've, uh, they've acclimated, bro. Yo, they different swim over the water, OK, yeah. Art? <laughs> um, but as you said, like it's definitely not playing out the way expected. Uh, quite the level up on Terrick, or just maybe a great understanding of this matchup. Not quite so sure, but Jackal is struggling at the moment. Jackal makes it back to the stage, but doesn't seem to matter. He has. He was able to at least get a stock off of uh, Tarek, but it has been pretty much the Tarek show ever since. He's been finding these dash attacks uh, quite well. A lot of neutral layers as well. He's finding all his confirms into uh, his forward airs too. Yeah, definitely the Tarek Ooh. show. Uh, it, I would like to see uh, Jackal. I don't know. He's slowing it down, but maybe start using that laser more because cur your current game plan is just not panning out. You know, taking a risk with some of your close quarter combat moves. Tarek's just too slippery at the moment. You might want to do something a little safe and. I spoke too soon. That's not safe either, apparently, oh. against Greninja. Yeah, it's 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 getting to that point now. I think the, the next soft hit neutral air forward air should be able to take it. Or just a raw S smash, almost. I do love a little step back uh, S smash. He doesn't get that at the right part of the stage. However, the damage is racked up on Jackal for sure. And right. if you're Jackal, I mean, like, do you just kind of think about the next game? Great up smash. Apparently not. Yeah, I was kind of... Interesting uh, option for him to go for. I guess he thought uh, Jackal was going to cross him up with that dash attack, which could have happened, but uh, because he swung that the wrong way. Oh. You know what? I know what he thought. So he got hit with the water. He's probably expecting to get a lot higher up uh, because he got hit with the water, but I think because he already wasn't moving, uh, he didn't really push him that far, so he ended up just, yeah, over committing, I guess, yeah, to the well, idea. Yeah. Tarek drew that playbook. He, he drew that up. That was part of his mm -hmm. plan. The, the big mind game right there. Um, but Tarek is kind of playing the matchup to a T. You know, Wolf has fantastic buttons, but again, if you just move out of the way, it doesn't really matter how much shield stun they put you in. The spacing doesn't even matter either. You can offer a different stage, see if maybe that will help him out just a little bit, but currently Jackal has quite the adjustment to make. All right, let's see how this one plays out. Go back here, actually. See him also trying to put the... Uh Use to him real quick. He is actually such an aggressive Greninja being uh, shown this time around. But all of his uh, decision making has been very correct as well, too. So look at that. Pivot grab. Step back. Yeah, it's looking nice. I did not realize Greninja says his name on back air. <laughs> he said, yeah. well, yeah. He'd he be, he be talking. I actually, now that, I'm, now that you're saying it, I don't think I actually heard him say it either. <laughs> I'm like, did he just add that? Is it DLC? 
Oh, a good air to air right there, just knowing exactly where Jackal wants to go. He's looking. Yeah, Jackal almost losing that stock actually to that. That'll sneak, okay. Pulling out the full, uh, full playbook right here. Jackal, I mean, Jackal has just been playing off stage basically, trying to get back. Somehow, though, still keeping it competitive, only 15% separating them, despite the fact that we're just constantly talking about how many hits Tarek is getting. Oh, FTO, and it's going to be enough. He pushed him way far away from state. I don't know how he's going to get that back. That was nice. Didn't uh, overcommit, didn't do anything crazy, just pushed him too far away with no resources. Good stuff to Tarek. Yeah, and a little back and forth at the moment. I mean, going for your Jackal right now, you know you want the one straight hit, a down smash would be fantastic, a back here at the edge, but you don't want to take any risk because big time damage is coming in. 29 right there, actually not the end of the world. A grab the wrong way. I'm, I'm, I'm almost expecting at some point Jackal's gonna start punishing some of these ledge options a bit better whenever Tarek does grab that ledge. <laughs> Apparently just trying to punt his way to victory. Tarek getting out of dodge though, gonna go off that stage and stay relatively safe for the moment. Man, it's moving real quick. But still, we're still trying to figure out a way to get this stock off. We already got 45%. It's been like a kind of nickel and dime second, uh, for, or for this like second minute of the game. But it really is just because I feel like Jackal has to slow it down. Though. If he's trying to play at Tarek's speed, Tarek is just out, like out speeding him, out uh, playing him from there. So he does have to kind of like put the, the stops to Greninja being able to slide around all, all the time, which is kind of what you need to do in this match in general. The more you can put Greninja in the shield, the, the better off you are. For sure. You know, some, not all of us are good at checkers, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, but Jack lot. It's coming alive. Mm -hmm. You know, one of those classic wolf combos and still continuing, and apparently Jackal's like, I just need a little momentum, that's it. And I think that's been 81% unanswered. I feel like that fair bear is coming, or he's going to be trying to look for it real quick. Finally get some damage back onto the board. Quick turnaround uh, back air, too. I like these very low recoveries here for Jackal. Yeah, definitely good stuff. Uh, and because Tarek has shown time and time again, he's going to use that up special, going to try to push Wolf away with the water. Ooh, edge go oh, no! Oh, put himself in the bad spot. And, like, you know what, bro? Uh, good stuff to uh, go ahead and even that back up. But I have to say, that's smart from Jackal, aware uh, like, the awareness there. Uh, because, yeah, Tarek, as you just said, has been doing a lot of uh, up special to try to use the water. So he's like, you know what? Uh, as soon as I see you like you're setting up, I'm going to just catch you as soon as you go by. And that's what he did. I'm already clean. I don't need your water. Mm -hmm. All right, ledge trap attempt possibly, and does manage to get one hit on Tarek. We're going to see another one. Wolf so oppressed in this scenario, but just Tarek using that high jump of Greninja to escape this scenario. Nope. Okay. Straight him away. Okay, I like that. was a very nice falling uh, up air, and then also got a little extra off that with the back air, too. But yeah, we got Jackal stuck. At the side, finally gets back to uh, center stage. He's trying to run away, but Tarek uh, immediately chases him down with a couple dash attacks. Nice. And the reaction. Even though that it was a cross up that happened right there. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that almost. I, was that a blues? Uh, or was that Red Spark too? No. Like, I'm not even up. sure. I was so confused when I watched that exchange. Okay. 90%, 94%. Nothing really between them, but I do think in the stray hit game, usually Jackal or Wolf does have a better chance of like kind of throwing out Shreyer hits and them being a lot more safe than uh, stray hits that uh, Greninja could throw out. Ooh. Definitely agree with you there, TK, but that was not a safe stray hit. Mm. Jackal took a risk right now. Tarek in great position. Tried to corner Jackal, but not able to do it, and Jackal fights his way out. Not the dash attack. That was a very good up smash out of Shield 2. New, recognized, like I had the time. Sometimes uh, you, like, if you're not paying attention fast enough, Greninja definitely can't just get away with that dash tag. Not this time around. Yeah, I mean, we're top 128. Okay, you can't get away with that still. You got to gotta do some other things now. People are a little more polished and able to punish a lot of those moves that feel relatively safe. That was that was a little funky hitbox, though, because I, I was thinking a cross-up would happen, but it really doesn't matter because Wolf's up smash is going to hit both sides anyway. Very, very large Okay. All right, swap of the colors right here. So that uh, you know, brings some new fire to the game. But already one one in this in this set. Definitely didn't expect to get, see anybody get three out here. Very good uh, turnaround there from Jackal. Let's see if uh, Terry can make some adjustments to get himself back on the winner side of things. Uh, I love when Wolf just does that. Just, the one little tilt right there. Watch your fingers. Watch it. Oh. Eric. 
so close to finishing that stock. Kind of that offstage combo, just catching Jackal at every single turn. Didn't get the kill, but does do it now. Reading Rainbow, hello. You go right, you go left. I'm there either way. All right, man, 7% like on your first stock after getting a, a very clean stock like that. Bro. I know Terry's got to have all kind of confidence going on for him, but this is actually uh, a very, <laughs> very bad start for Jack. I, like, I did say, you know, see if Terry can get back on the winner side of thing. He said, you're damn right, TK, I'll be over there. So this is it's, this is kind of a stomp right now. I see Jack will kind of like wake up, get back to the game. Looks like he's doing it right now. Got about 60% added up. Another one of those spikes like last game, you know? Yeah. The equalizer, if you will. But I mean, the stage is definitely not doing Jack any favors. Tarek is navigating it perfectly. More of the Final Destination version right now, if you will. But those platforms, you know that Tarek's going to incorporate them into his gameplay. Okay. Back on the oh. What? Yeah. I don't know what he was trying to do, but it looked like he tried to like jump off the ledge uh, to avoid that and just got caught as soon as he got off the ledge. But uh, the charge shook me too, bro. I I'll probably try to roll on the guy hit on the other side, to be honest. Just hit the A button. You're invincible. Oh, you're true. True. <laughs> See, but like. I don't be thinking. You know what? That's I must avoid. No, just hit it. <laughs> Look, we, I only know the simple things, all right? That's why I talk about the game. I don't play. <laughs> all right, so it looks like he was able to get back on the same stock, though. But that's going to help out. Okay, the footstool this time around puts him actually uh, close to the edge, but now Jack will most likely, or um, Karen most likely, is going to be looking for that soft hit new player forward air. Yeah, it's definitely a, a very classic bread and butter combo. Goes for a wrist, tries to punish the landing, not able to hit it. Jackal getting some meaningful damage. You know, that opening was the difference between a down smash killing at the ledge and you doing it just for positioning. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh. Okay, good punish right there from Jackal, too. And, like, again, these punish hurt more and more. He does have a little bit of rage on his side. Dash attack back air. Oh, okay, the up air catch. Unfortunately, that is not a uh, kill move for Greninja. I'm glad. Because <laughs> he get hit by that move a lot. Yeah, you do. All right. How are we getting the stock, though, from both sides? Laser's going to go ahead and stop that uh, shuriken uh, attempt. Yeah, it, it's amazing to me that 7% is all that Tarek took when he took the first stock. And, and now he's in jeopardy. Yeah. Like that. You know, what, a, what a great turnaround. The forward air from across the screen, not going to be enough yet. He's looking for that jump out the corner. And he has been showing that a lot, but it seems like Jackal wants to play, is willing to play a little more grounded right now. And we noticed that great grab right there. Going to take that stage control. And does get the edge guard this time, not able to get the final hit. Part two is gonna work. Tarek, a master class on how to edge guard Wolf in that scenario. Rinse and repeat. You know, like you got it. You can't snap that ledge if I got the water uh, there and just a quick turnaround or a quick uh, F tilt to go ahead and get him past that blast zone right after. Good stuff uh, to Tarek, who, again, does have a little bit of a lead here. But can, how much can he do with this lead? Because he had an even bigger lead uh, before this. And, now it's really just, yeah, I'd say one back air away from hitting to be even this game up. Are you trying to say he had a lead and he dropped it, he might do it again? Well, <laughs> I'm going to say that the lead that he's dropping this time does not look as bad. Like, oh, okay, we'll put okay. it that way. But, yeah, that was a huge lead that he kind of gave up there. Still in the lead, though. Yeah. Cleaned it up nicely. I, it does make me wonder how much is the stage playing a role. And that L smash killed? I was a little surprised right there. Thought Tarek was going to be able to make it back, but apparently he's a little bit of a tadpole right now, not actually a heavy frog. Okay. My oh, man, swing it. He's looking. Kind of force his way in there. Great stuff. Got the back though afterwards. And kudos to Jack on just the waits before doing the recovery, knowing that Tarek is going to shoot out that up B. Stop. All right, all right, try to get a little more off that. I've definitely seen that combo into uh, the soft hit into the forward air. I think he just couldn't get down there in time. He's still going for it. This is like, you know what I said? He dropped that lead, and this is the same lead. So he, he started the game and potentially will end the game with the same lead if he's able to end it right now. But I'm, about to, I'm about to curse him. Watch him lose this game. Oh, never mind. There we go. Started with a big one-stock lead, ends the game, JV2. Yeah. Yeah. Great adjustments all around, and those combos really started get to, kind of started flowing a little bit more for Tarek. Uh, if you're Jackal, it's, it's kind of... He has some hot and cold moments. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, that's the wolf. That's the jackal that we expect to see. And then other times, I'm, he's just struggling and looking like he's lost at how to actually respond and answer Terry. Yeah. Well, let's see, uh, you know, if we can get an answer uh, back this time around, it is going to be on jackal counter pick. But since Terry won the flex game, if it does go to a game five, he does have to play at the venue that Terry chooses. 
Obviously, Terry probably wants to end it right here, right now. Let's see what he can do as we go over to uh, um, Small Battlefield. Yeah. Is there anything differently you want to see Jackal do to possibly tie this game up? I mean, I, I, I feel like when he slowed it down, like, he, he has to kind of play his own, like, level of, like, a hit-and-run game where it's like, all right, I'm going to slow it down, but I, I am Wolf. So if Wolf kind of gets that one straight hit, he usually can't turn it to three or four more straight hits. You know what I mean? Like, if he gets one forward air, it's like forward air grab, down throw, uh, dash attack, right? Easy B and B, let's say 40-something damage. Cool. And then, you know, you got some forward air back airs or double forward airs, uh, forward air up air, whatever. But, like, he that's the way he has to uh, play it. Like, if that guy's not in range, all right, well, I'm chilling until he is in range, and then I'm going to try to get a punish like that. Uh, unfortunately, though, it's kind of hard to keep Tarek and Greninja at a one certain range because he's so fast. Yeah. Oh. Good tech, though. Yeah. We're going to see if uh, well, Jack didn't get to hear any of this, but when you watch the box. Yeah. <laughs> see if he actually uh, does get a chance to do such. He is uh, definitely playing, I feel like, a little more grounded, though, and that's been good, but something, uh, maybe maybe a little too grounded right there. Almost got scooped up by that down up smash. Luckily, platform in the way, but I don't think he would have lost that stock anyway. And there it is. Look at that. He got one opening, turned into a stock. Yeah. Great job. I, I didn't even know that that forward air into back air was going to connect. I thought it was a little too far away, but uh, Jackal said, nope, it'll work. I'm going to try it. Yep, I'm going to do it. I mean, there was no loss as well. <laughs> that back air is pretty safe. Oh, and one thing that Jackal is doing differently, and I'm loving it, the back and forth, the movement. You know, when you're stationary, it's really easy for someone to play around. But when you're moving around back and forth, it's hard to adjust the spacing, and Jackal is doing that so well right now, and it's really throwing Terra off. Okay. I was like, damn, Jackal's feeling himself right there. Try to get that F smash read. He is definitely up. I mean, this is the same type of lead that we saw from Tarek in his last game. And now Jackal is doing that lead uh, twofold. Still not losing that stock yet. Whoa. And just air dodges right on top of Tarek. Surprised he got away with that, but didn't get away for too much longer. He does get on stage. Tarek does manage to clean up that stock. You are trailing at 117. I'm sorry, you're trailing by two entire stocks. That shield is not your friend. Yeah, that has not done him any favors yet. Uh, multiple times, he's lost a couple of stocks like that by trying to dash attack uh, at high percentage and just getting kind of sent right after. Yeah, sometimes you got to just change the game plan. You got to say, look, this works against most people, but it's not working against this player, and I just got to throw it away for now. Especially not Wolf. I mean, Wolf got one of the better uh, up smash out of shields for sure. So, hold up. All right, looking for some tech chase uh, situations. Stop that. that so rude. Yeah. <laughs> That up to a, definitely a, a very good far reaching move. So I think if he could put Tarek in the corner a lot more too, that'd be good. But you're planning for Ninja who has like one of the high, I think the, one of the the highest like initial jump, or if not uh, first or second. So it is kind of hard to keep him in that corner. Yeah. And it's fast. Yeah. You know, some people have high jumps, but they don't really get there quickly. Greninja is up and down before you blink. Okay. Love the aggression right there from Jackal. Okay. Okay, all right, there we go. Get up, attack. Get out the corner. Unfortunately, though, again, oh, there it is. Soft hit, neutral air, forward air. Unfortunately for uh, Jack or Tarek, though, he is still one whole stock down. They are pretty even on a percentage, but he doesn't have to play a whole other stock if he's able to find these. These pivot grabs starting. Oh, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that was a bad idea because he did swing. He did swing. He just missed. We're, we're, we're right idea, just wrong spot. You know, you gave Jackal too much credit. Yeah. So Jackal. Able to run away with that on a two stock. Tarek thinking, talking. He's like, hmm. It is going to be his choice of where we're going to next, though. This is the weirdest game five because it it, it doesn't feel like it's been close at all. On either, either side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, when they win, they, like, win, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so you would be like, oh, what's going to come down to? I'm like, we will know probably within the first two minutes who's going this one. Yep. It's like we're heading over to a Hollow Bastion here. Interesting choice there. Um, we'll see how it works out. But uh, with that platform, you know, Greninja does like to jump once to land on top of Wolf, and that platform is going to kind of stop you from doing it. So I I'm interested to see how Terry navigates that stage since it is his counterpick. It does kind of set up for some uh, interesting tech chase options, though, <laughs> off of uh, up air drag downs and uh, off of just down tilt hitting uh, at the, uh, certain points. Like, now it's like down tilt, you miss tech, up smash, or down tilt, I think you're going to tech, I'm going to re-tech him and up smash. There's like a lot the platform can bring into the mix. Uh, clearly the, the dual platform uh, layout wasn't really helping him out too much, uh, though, because I feel like he kind of got stomped on that one. So maybe he's like, all right, let me put one big one in the middle. And as of right now, not helping him out too much yet either. It does not look like a 68% unanswered Jackal 
really running away with things. Tarek has to get going soon if he wants to have a shot at continuing his winter side bracket. Back here. I like the positioning from Tarek. So, kept Jacko at the ledge for a little bit. Eventually, he does escape, but you're still keeping up that aggression. All right, just barely living that, but yeah, he has not really been able to put any type of damage here, respectable uh, damage here on uh, Jackal, whose defense has been up on tempo right now. He is not falling for a lot of the Greninja uh, tricks. You know, not a lot of new players hitting. Dash attacks ain't hitting. Finally gets one right there. Okay, hold up. Ah, third time. Can't do it three times, bro. You were just talking about the defense of Jackal and him displaying it right there, knowing exactly when to shield and how to punish Terra accordingly. And just, you know, Tarek a little bit of a climb, not too far yet though. For Ninja, great character. Oh, there's an air dot, not able to punish it so close, but just so far at the same time. Yeah, just a little, and I like the idea too, you know, aerial force smash, uh, basically, uh, with that forward air. And then he's like, all right, you missed that, but I'm gonna regular forward smash now. And unfortunately, uh, just a little off the mark as far as his spacing, so. Good grip back to Jackal to like really like hit that corner. Did you call it an air force It's an aerial force smash, right. I mean, you're not wrong, I like, just. Yeah. The aerial force, I mean, that's what it is. The men-men like, treatment. Yeah, oh. it, 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 it hits that hard. <laughs> Same animation, whatnot, like, come on, bro. <laughs> You're like, you got lazy on this one, Sakurai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see Tarek was trying to go for a whip punish right there, but Jackal just drifting in a little bit too too far. And that's one of Wolf's like, huge strengths. It's just that drift. All right, I think this, this is one of the other things I think that Greninja kind of uh, struggles at, too. It's, it's that mark. That arthritis thing too of like I, I get a stock at 70 or 170 uh, because yeah you got those early stocks of like down to up smash right or then down to a forward air or whatever but you always have to set them to it or you're just kind of like swinging wild and hoping that something hits so and uh, as of right now he has not been hitting any of his wild swings and he has been getting a setup so he's just struggling to get this first stock off uh, of Jackal. Yeah I mean just if you're Jackal you just close the door you're like look I, I know I know how the end of this goes. I've read this story a million times. Tarek, I'm sorry you're just a character in it, but uh, you got to follow the plot. And at three stocks to one right now, I mean, Tarek has to get this kill, some crazy combo, and a Gimp has to be thrown in as well. Everything really has to align if he wants to mount a comeback this game. Good. Good little grab right there, though, all the way to the other side of the stage. Very close to uh, getting him well, back on the stage with the water, too, but very good recovery uh, from Jackal. Who, again, still has not lost his first stock. Finally getting uh, a hit on that last stock of Tarek. Plays a fourth throw. Up throw, actually, okay. Fourth throw or up throw, I think both of the work uh, in that area, but why holding his chest? Like, <laughs> my God, <laughs> that kills? <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> We'll see if uh, we made something happen here. Although uh, it is definitely possible to kind of like Shamwild stock, you just got to play a perfect Greninja stock right now of getting, I'd say, to about 80 and then the yeah, down to up smash. Yeah. And then the other question is, uh, do you put more value on getting the hit or more value on not getting hit? And that's something else Terry has to balance. Yeah. Oh. It hasn't been hit a lot, though. I will say his evasiveness is kind of up 38%, and he's been on this stock for quite some time. I mean, definitely taking the Floyd Mayweather approach, and it's working. Gotta, he's got to make, but unfortunately, though, he does have to put some damage on the board, though. So he can do all this avoiding, but that's not going to get you back into the game if you're not getting some hits yourself. Yeah, well, he's trying now. He's looking at it, but again, these uh, dash attacks have not been hitting the way that he, uh, he wants them to, and he's been getting destroyed for it almost every time. Definitely uh -oh. true. But the anti air game is looking great right now. Jackal definitely was on Southwest for a moment, finally was able to land. Uh oh. Yeah, they, they, they had to turn the plane around a couple times. <laughs> Back on the ground, though. How long is the question? Oh, whip grab right there. That could have been huge for Tarek. I think Tarek kind of, it, it seems like he knows that I really can't dash attack right here anymore. Yeah. So looking for another way to get it, a down tilt. Oh, not going to get a chance, though. The F uh, tilt at the edge is going to be enough. And as you said, man, we were talking about how that game was going to, we can kind of tell who's going to win at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, Jackal kind of took off like right at the start and really never let up. I mean, that's that's been both of them for the most part. Just uh, Jackal happened to do it the last two games. Yeah. And